So, Teresa, <laughs> as we end, I, I want to get your thoughts. We know that uh, you and I have done work together in the past. We know that corporate media is not going to cover these types of things. A, Native Americans, the theft of their land, not exactly a sexy topic for, for New York and D.C. elites. Uh, we know that corporate media is not going to cover it. We know that, frankly, there's really no independent media covering things like this. Uh, what are your thoughts on the state of our media and what needs to be done to get this kind of stuff out there? Because I think it's super important. I'm personally passionate about Native issues. I know you are, and water, you are. Uh, what needs to happen? Do you think there needs to be like a new large media network uh, powered by the people, uh, grassroots, people powered, people send money, we then report on the issues affecting the people? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that the media's lack of covering these things is one of the reasons why they're happening, you know? Because they cover, like you always say, Trump's tweets. They cover such bullshit. They don't cover these things. And maybe some of them are paid off. I don't know. Or it's just not sexy. It's just not hot. But they're not covering it. And that's why it continues to happen. Literally, the only weapon we have is truth. Right? Because we don't have money. We're not the Koch brothers. All we have is truth and this. Social media. This, like me and you talking right now, putting that on Facebook, putting that on YouTube, that's our, our greatest weapon. That is our greatest weapon because only when we share the truth can we then wake people up to the, the problems and the injustices in the country and then united make change. Like Trump is an asshat and he's horrifying, but he is a catalyst of change. And he woke up a lot of people in this country and people are sitting in their houses sitting in their kitchens, looking at Facebook and saying, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? That's where independent media comes in. We find the truth. We report on the truth. We go into towns. We say, look, this entire neighborhood has lupus because there's, you know, PCBs in the soil. We report it. People share it on social media. And then no one can ignore it anymore because social media is huge. It's our weapon. We can't fight with uh, semi-automatic rifles, like a lot of the people. I protect my Second Amendment because when I have to fight the government, I need a semi-automatic rifle. Okay, you and Joe Schmo and Sally Schmidt with your semi-automatic rifles are not going to take down the government if they decide to roll into your town in tanks. So that's not going to work. We don't have weapons. We don't have money, right? We, we're not the Koch brothers. All we have is this. Independent media spreading the truth, raising awareness, and then uniting to fight. You can't deny an entire country if we rise up and and ask for certain things from our government officials. And then again, that helps shift elections, because if we're all aware of the problems. Oh, Orrin Hatch took eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars from oil and gas. Ryan Zicke got on TV and lied to everybody saying, oh, this isn't about oil and gas. When like three days before he had maps and, and requested information about oil and gas. If we know that, then we don't vote for them again on top of it. So independent media is literally the key to shifting the entire course of history for the planet. It sounds crazy, right? But it is true. It's true. You know what? After this, I was thinking about taking a bath, but now, well, I'm, instead, yeah. I'm going to go to facebook.com slash Teresa Joy Truth. Teresa Joy Truth. And I'm going to watch all your videos because you're dynamic, uh, your cat, has added a lot to the video. And, Wait, is he in it? Oh, yeah. He's been in and out. He, ah, yeah, he's terrific. Eric. And uh, we'll be doing a lot more because you report on important things um, and you're not afraid. So thank you for enlightening us. Again, that's facebook.com slash Teresa Joy Truth. Wait. I have to tell you one more thing. Sure. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, okay. This is horrible. This is one more thing I just wanted to make sure I told you. This was an email from the Bureau of Land Management asking for alternative options to um, basically find a loophole to get out of the following things, okay? So they're asking these people to go through the Antiquities Act and these other acts and find loopholes so that they don't have to follow them. And they specifically asked to find loopholes in regards to Native American Graves Protection and Reparation Act, Paleontological Resource Preservation Act, 
Archaeological Resource Protection Act, Historical Preservation Act, uh, National Historic Preservation Act, Native American Grace Protection Act, uh, American Indian Religious Freedom Act. They asked lawyers to go through these things and find loopholes and by so the that way, they did not, in reference to downsizing. And by the way, what's important about this for context, and it's not just Trump, Obama administration did this too. Yeah. They were trying to hide this. Uh, outlets that were trying to get these emails they were trying to block their Freedom of Information Act request. Yeah. So not only are they just very, very overtly trying to rob the land of Native Americans to drill and mine and all that, but then they're trying to hide what they're doing, too. Obama's administration was one of the least transparent in American history, and Trump, same thing. Yeah, but Obama looked good. That was the difference. So people were like, yay, Obama's peaceful. You know, he was a... Sheep and sheep's a uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. Trump is a wolf in wolf's clothing, mm. but they're all the same. Trump's a little worse, but yeah. So, anyways, again, it just shows like they never had any intention of respecting the Native Americans or the land, and that's why they tried to keep these memos a secret. That's why they tried to make sure that they weren't available to the public. So, that's what we're up against. That is the truth of what we're up against. So, well. Yeah. I mean, the only thing we can do is spread the truth. That's how we fight it. Thank you for helping me share the truth. And I'm sure we'll be uh, talking a lot and reporting a lot, uh, hopefully together down the road. Facebook.com slash Teresa Joy Truth. <laughs> Peace out. Keep fighting. 